Welcome to the SU Ag Center's 20th Celebration Speaker Series. Today's guest speaker is Dr. Orlando F. McMeans, Chancellor of the Southern University Agricultural Research and Extension Center and Dean of the College of Agricultural, Family, and Consumer Sciences. Good morning. I am Tiana Johnson and I serve as a student ambassador for the Southern University College of Agriculture and Family Consumer Science. It is my honor to welcome you to the Southern University Agriculture Research and Extension Center's 20th anniversary convocation. The SU Ag Center is the fifth campus of the Southern University system and was established in July 2001. The mission of the SU Ag Center is to provide service to the citizens of Louisiana in a manner that is useful in addressing their scientific, technological, social, economic, and cultural needs in order to enhance their overall quality of life. This morning, we will hear from my Southern University System President, Dr. Ray L. Belton and Dr. Mike Shane, Louisiana's Commission of Agriculture and Forestry, who provide his greetings via video. Following correspondence, we will hear a convocation remarks from Dr. Orlando F. Means, Chandler Dean. We encourage you to use the chatbot feature to make congratulatory remarks to celebrate the 20th anniversary. At this time, I will introduce Dr. Belton. Dr. Ray L. Belton was named President Chancellor of the Southern University System on June 12th, 2015 by the SU System Board of the Supervisors and serves as the 10th president of the Southern University System, the nation's only historically black university system. Prior to this appointment, he served as a chancellor of the Southern University at Shreveport, a leadership role that expanded over 14 years. To date, Belton brings more than 30 years of experience in higher education administrations. Belton has held several national leadership positions including serving on the Board of Trustees of the Commissions on Colleges of the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. As a commissioner on diversity and inclusion for the American Association of Community Colleges, the Executive Board of the Louisiana Campus Compact, and the National Advisor Board of the Community Renewal National his statewide affiliations include serving in senior leadership roles with consortium for educational research and techno technology, biomedical research foundation, allowing for education, coordinating development corporation of Northwest Louisiana. And as a member of the local chambers and the committee of the 100. Dr. Belton is a native of Shreveport, Louisiana. He is a graduate of Shreveport, I mean, of Southern University at Shreveport and Southern University in Baton Rouge. He earned a Master of Arts in Counseling from the University of Nebraska and a Doctor of Philosophy in Educational Administration from the University of Texas at Austin. I present Dr. Ray L. Belton. Good morning. I would like to introduce Commissioner Strain, who has provided us a pre recorded message. Dr. Mike Strain took the oath of office for his fourth year term as Louisiana's Commissioner of Agriculture and Forestry in January 2020. A native of Covington, he earned a doctorate in veterinary medicine from Louisiana State University in 1983. In 1999, he was elected to the first two terms as state re representative where he served on the Agriculture Committee and chaired the Legislative Rural Caucus. He was twice named Legislator of the Year by St. Tammany Parish Alliance for Good Government in 2003. The LSU School of Veterinary Medicine presented Dr. Strain its Distinguished Alumni Award. He was awarded the Future Farmers of America Highest National Award, the Honor 
the honorary American degree in August of 2009. And he was inducted into the LSU Alumni Association Hall of Distinction in May of 2010. Dr. Strain was named Conservationist of the Year in January of 2012. And in January of 2013, he was named Veterinary of the Year by Louisiana State Veterinary Medical Association. He holds a commission for the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and serves on the board of trustees of the Council of Agricultural Science and Technology. Dr. Strain is married to Dr. Susan Cersei Strain of Hot Springs, Arkansas, and they have two adult children. Please turn your attention, attention to Commissioner Strain's video. Well, hello everyone. This is Mike Strain, Louisiana Commissioner of Agriculture and Forestry. I want to congratulate Southern University Ag Center, 20 years. I can tell you, you know, when you talk about all the good things that are done, you know, and President Belton and Dr. Orlando McMeans and all of you, all of our good friends there, there are so many positive things that Ag Centers do that I guess most people never know. You know, the Southern University's Ag Center focusing on minority and small farmers bringing science, innovation, and technology to people that desperately need it. And the one thing about here in the United States and here in Louisiana, there's very little separation between that institutional knowledge, research, and science, and then getting it into the hands of the farmers. And so when you look at what it takes to be a successful farmer, we've got to have that outreach, we've got to have that interaction, we have to have the ability to get information, again, from the lab, all the way into the field in a very practical fashion. And the other thing about Southern University, I've always truly appreciated, you know, the fact of you're just so friendly, you know, and so forthcoming and so outgoing, and I can tell you all the farmers feel the same way. So I want to congratulate you again on 20 years, and we look forward to the next 20, 30, or 40 years. You're doing an excellent job, and anything that we can do to help you fulfill your mission, please let us know. Mr. Kieselus, the SQ Ag Center Communications Coordinator will read correspondences. Um, at this time, we're going to have a, a slight pause and uh, we're going to turn it over to Dr. Belton. Well, good morning uh, to, to everyone and, and allow me uh, to uh, indeed bring greetings on behalf of the entirety of the Southern University system. I am truly pleased to be able to, to join with you, Dr. McMeans and, and the team at the uh, Ag Center in, uh, in, 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 in celebrating the uh, 20th year anniversary of Southern University Ag uh, in, in Extension Center. You know, when you uh, think of uh, anniversaries, uh, one uh, typically uh, reflect on uh, the beginnings, uh, how we how we got started, and and as well, uh, they find themselves compelled, you know, to examine uh, the the here and now. You know, uh, as I have kind of pondered uh, those two uh, matters uh, over the uh, last couple of days. Uh, I am clearly reminded of the vision of uh, President uh, Leon Tarver uh, in uh, shaping this and, and the leadership, uh, if you will, uh, of our legendary chancellor, Dr. Leandre uh, Williams. You know, uh, their uh, efforts literally established a foundation uh, for, the, uh, agri uh, for the Ag and, and, and Extension Center. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and it's a foundation that we are uh, feeling, uh, you know, today. You know, uh, certainly uh, when we think about today, it's apparent that uh, their investment is really uh, paying uh, uh, dividends. You know, uh, under the leadership of, the, of Dr. McMeans and this team, you know, just uh, a few weeks ago, and, and as you are all aware, 
you know, Southern University Ag and Extension Center was uh, distinguished by being recognized as one of uh, four uh, centers of excellence amongst the uh, 19 land grant uh, institutions, a notable recognition that shines light on the entirety uh, of the Southern University uh, system. Uh, this session, we received the largest uh, state match uh, that I'm aware of that we've ever received uh, historically uh, uh, from, uh, from the university uh, through, through your efforts. Uh, we are expanding our capacity with regard to uh, extension uh, such that people are feeling the presence and the, uh, and the responsibility that we have to constituents across the state of Louisiana, you're developing new programs and and broadening uh, your your research efforts, and and not to mention, you know, the promise uh, of uh, providing for <clears throat> uh, the constituents a relief uh, in terms of uh, the production of medical marijuana, but potentially uh, uh, securing a, a cash flow uh, that each of our campuses within the system uh, would enjoy. Uh, I, I pause just to uh, this morning just to say how much uh, we are not only proud of you, uh, but we are certainly appreciative of everything that you are doing uh, in representing Southern University uh, and m uh, College. And I speak to those who <clears throat> who are carrying the map. Excuse me. <clears throat> I speak to those who are carrying the, the mantle today uh, and those who have done so uh, on, on yesterday. So again, thank you so very much for what you're doing. And, uh, and, uh, and, and again, uh, enjoy the celebration. Uh, we all are uh, in recognition of 20 years uh, of service. Thank you, Dr. Bates. Ms. Lakeisa Lush, the SU Ag Center Communications Coordinator will read correspondences. Good morning. Um, we've received a correspondence from the Association of 1890 Research Directors. Um, I should read the, the letter for you. On behalf of the Association of 1890 Research Directors, time and opportunity spares us no greater pleasure than to join you in celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Southern University Agricultural Research and Extension Center. We also celebrate the many successes, accomplishments, and the uniqueness of this impressive center in the 1890 land grant system. The SU Ag Center stands as a beacon among the preeminent centers in food and agricultural systems. And under the visionary and contemporary leadership of Dr. Orlando F. McMeans, the center's future is most promising as it continues through a thoughtful and engaged process to seek bold and innovative solutions for the vexing challenges confronting our nation. Over these 20 years, the programs in the SU Ag Center have been excellent, relevant and responsive. The Ag Center has extended the reach and promise of Southern University through the exceptional work of its faculty and staff. Congratulations on the 20th anniversary of the Southern University Agricultural Research and Extension Center. We look forward to your we look forward to the next giant steps that the Ag Center seeks in improving the quality of life of citizens in Louisiana, the 1890 region, and beyond. This letter comes from the chair of the Association of 1890 Research Directors, Ms. Chandra Reddy. On behalf of Dr. McMeans, we would like to thank all of you who have sent congratulatory messages celebrating the SU Ag Center's 20th anniversary. There are no other correspondences. Dr. Orlando F. McMeans is the Chancellor of, the Un of Southern University Agriculture Research and Extension Center and the Dean of College of Agriculture and Family Consumer Sciences. He began his service to Southern University on September 1st of 2019. He also is a full tenured research professor in the College of Ag. Prior to coming to Southern University, he served at West Virginia State University from 1998 to 2019. He departed from 
WVSU as the vice president for research and public service, the executive director of the West Virginia State Research and Development Corporation, and the dean of, and director of the West Virginia State Gus R. Douglas Land Grant Institute. Dr. McMeans holds a Bachelor of Science degree in the horticulture from Alabama A&M University and a Master of Science degree in horticulture from the University of Illinois at urbana Champaign, and earned a PhD in horticulture also at the University of Illinois at urbana Champaign. After graduating from the University of Illinois, he went on to do a postdoctoral studies at Virginia Tech in the area of genetic engineering. In 2020, he was appointed to Governor Edwards Louisiana Health Equity Task Force Executive Committee, the Louisiana Food and Agriculture Task Force, and the Resilient Louisiana Commission Rural Development Task Force. Dr. McMeans has held leadership positions in many national, regional, and local organizations. To name a few, he served as a member of the Association of Public Land Grant University Board of Directors, Chair of APLU's Board on Agriculture Assembly Policy Board of Directors and liaison to the APLU Council of Agriculture Research Extension and Teaching. He also served in leadership or as a member with the West Virginia Governor Science and Research Council, Riley Memorial Foundation Board, Minorities in Agriculture, Natural Resources, Related Sciences, and the Association of the 1890 Research Directors. He's a member of the Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity, Prince Hall Freemasonry, and the Loyal Order of, of the Moose. Dr. McMeans is originally from Theodore, Alabama. We will now hear from the Chancellor Dean, Dr. Orlando F. McMeans. Thank you for that welcome and good morning to everyone. Today, July, First, 2021, I am honored to celebrate with you the 20th anniversary of the establishment of the Southern University Agricultural Research and Extension Center. Leading up today, you have heard, had a great opportunity to hear Zoom webinars from some outstanding leaders. And I, and I also have to say uh, mentors also through my professional career. We kicked off the uh, anniversary speaker series with uh, Dr. Tarver, and Dr. Leodri Williams. And it was outstanding to hear from uh, then uh, President Tarver and then Chancellor Williams at the time, what their visionary thinking was to uh, say that we think that the land grant mission is high enough that we think it should be elevated to a fifth campus. And so it was, it was great to hear these two visionary leaders. And, and, I, and I, I can say honestly, mentors of mine uh, give us the historical perspective of what is now the, the Ag Center. And following their presentation on June 3rd, we, we listened to Dr. Adele Brown. And for the first time, I was able to connect the, the entire history of from the establishment to the organizational structure that became the Ag Center, from the policies to the strategic planning, to the personnel, to the branding of the Ag Center. And so I, I, I thank uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Brown for um, bringing us that unique perspective. And I think even individuals who've been around for 20 years also had a greater appreciation for what went into the establishment of the, the, the SU Ag Center. Uh, and of course, uh, on June the 9th, one of my favorite people, Dr. Gina Eubanks gave a presentation and hers mostly focused on extension and how that important uh, mission of the tripartite land grant mission was taking all the knowledge that we have here and, 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 and as the term extension implies the geographical extension of the resources of the university to the people that we serve and uh, that we're mission mandated to serve. So uh, it was great hearing from Dr. Eubanks uh, who's also been a long time colleague and, and, and uh, uh, as relates to extension, uh, she's looked up to her peers as one of the best in the country. She's at LSU and I really appreciate the fact that she's making sure that we continue uh, we maintaining our autonomy as land grant institution, but we have a collective mission. And she reminded that we as, as, as the two land grant institutions 
uh, we have a role to play in addressing uh, these issues of our state. Uh, we we had to postpone the the uh, June 17th speaker series with uh, Dr. Kurt Millard, who I've known for about 22 years. Um, and I wanted to make sure that Kirk, I know you're on. I saw you on. Uh, I'm a research guy, so I want you to know that we're going to get you in uh, sometime, hopefully in July or, or August. Uh, also on June 24th, and uh, my apologies, I think they, they both may be on, but Mr. Carl Butler and Mr. Arthur Neal were our, our speakers. And uh, it was very interesting because the reason why I was unable to get on the call because I was with another alum in DC talking about money uh, uh, with Daniel Whitley. So, so it was just ironic that I was at the USDA building and both of these individuals, USDA uh, officials and, and uh, I had to meet, but it was about money. So those of you who know me, I, I try to go where the money is. But, uh, but, but Carl, uh, of course, served as a liaison officer and, and Carl Butler is a longtime friend. He was the reason that I uh, became a uh, university administrator. He recruited me to West Virginia State upon him leaving uh, Southern University, he became our liaison. And Arthur and I, uh, uh, we, we served in various capacity. Uh, namely, uh, we served on the executive team of the uh, USDA 1890 Task Force. And uh, I, I just want to thank both of those individuals who also brought a unique perspective, not only from the standpoint of, of, of Arthur being an alum and, and understanding the impact that the, that the College of Agriculture, Family and Consumer Sciences played in his life, but, but, but also to make sure that he's reaching back uh, to uh, students, uh, to, to uh, work with other alumni. And I know he'll be working with Robert Easley and others, uh, but I, I really thank him and I, and I owe a debt of gratitude to Carl because he's one of those individuals, if it were not for him um, in, you know, meeting him at a manners meeting uh, in uh, Roanoke, uh, Virginia, uh, I probably wouldn't be here uh, this day. And, and so I, I, I think those two. So if, you, if you've not had an opportunity to, to uh, hear those speakers that I aforementioned, I encourage you to visit the uh, SU Ag Center website uh, to listen to the speaker series. I know I will be going back and listening to them all as I am writing notes about the history uh, of the uh, SU Ag Center. And, and just the impact and the, the perspective and the role, the structure, I just think um, it's a wealth of knowledge. And, and I, I was talking to uh, uh, one of my communications people. I said, we need to make sure that we document some of those presentations uh, to, to, to make sure that we're able to share that information with our students and with our, with our alumni and with all others in the SU family about how this, this, this uh, entity came to be. So I wanna pause and, and, and take a moment to acknowledge our student ambassadors. I mean, they've done an outstanding job uh, and they're volunteering and, and most of them, of course, are not in Baton Rouge. And so they could be doing other things, but they're taking time out of their schedule to, to show some love to the Ag Center and to the College of Ag. So uh, our students uh, ambassadors thus far uh, have been uh, Ms. Naya Reese, Mr. Benny Lloyd III, Mr. Floyd Harris, Mr. Garrick Bro, Ms. Taylor Mabry, Ms. Ariana Lazard, uh, Ms. Faith Mayfield, and we had Ms. Lauren Langley, Ms. Tayana Johnson, and Mr. Jones, who you've heard speaking today and who's been doing a great job. Um, so with that, I want to, to uh, move into a uh, 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 a different area, but uh, I, I also want to say this to all of the students that I've said in all of our um, presentations thus far. Uh, we thank you for your participation as an ambassador. And I know that you'll look back on this, this as an opportunity where you had an opportunity to learn and grow professionally. You'll never ever forget about these types of opportunities. So as I get ready to get into my presentation, we. We celebrate 20 years of uh, the SU Ag Center, its mission, growth, accomplishment, and challenges, its employees, friends, and its clients program and project, and of course, our alumni of the College of Ag. 
We celebrate the visionaries, supporters, and the people that brought us here over the last 20 year span. We stand on the shoulders of greatness and the people who had the vision and the courage, as stated by Mr. Arthur Neal, patience and perseverance. So I would like to take a few moments to share some slides with you. Um, and they were similar to a presentation that I gave to the uh, National uh, Alumni of Federation of Southern University uh, and, and just share with you some of our accomplishments this year that President Belton alluded to earlier and some of the new things on the horizon that will, will uh, impact all three mission areas uh, of, of the what I call SU Ag collectively. Uh, can you go back one, please? So um, what, one of the things we talked about this, the speaker series, uh, uh, but also we have the 20th anniversary uh, website. Uh, Dr. Rogers and his team has done an outstanding job keeping individuals updated. Uh, I even have some Alabama A&M alumni on this call. So, uh, uh, so we did a good job of marketing this. We have some ARD friends on here. We have some some LSU administrators on here. So we, we, we have a number of individuals. And so the, the website has really pulled in a lot of individuals. Uh, but what I'm really, we're really looking forward to is the 15 to 20 minute uh, documentary, which is underway. Next slide, please. As, as uh, President Belton alluded to earlier, uh, we were uh, able with the leadership of, you know, Fatima and, and, doc, and Dr. Renita Marshall to, to be awarded a, a center of excellence, 1890 center of excellence, very, very competitive, 19 institutions competing for a center. And we received that grant for $1.7 million. And then we were so excited. The board uh, was very happy with the fact that we received that recognition. And this center of excellence, to me, it, it was so much connected to the pandemic because of the um, populations that we serve were disproportionately affected. And we're talking about minority and underserved populations. Uh, and nutrition, health, wellness, and quality of life is the name of the center of excellence. And we're basically trying to, as a lead institution, help build the capacity of 1890 to address these uh, health disparities. And so we're excited about that. And as I, and I know I have some colleagues on here that, that will talk about me, but uh, Southern University is the lead institution and we'll work with North Carolina a and uh, State University and Tuskegee. So, uh, you know, I, 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 I kind of rubbed that in a little bit with Dr. Hill and some others at, at a and but we are the lead institution for this center of excellence. So next slide. Uh, this is a, this JAG stars, uh, you know, uh, Saturn and, and uh, Dr. Marshall. I just want to thank them for the job that they're doing. There have been two occasions in the last four days. One, I was in DC having dinner with uh, a, a two alums, a uh, married couple. Um, and we were sitting down talking and they said, oh, our son has JAG star scholarship. And I paused. And then I was out the other night, someone came up to me and they just said, are you uh, Dr. McMean? I said, yes. He said, well, my son will be coming in as a freshman to the JAG stars and it's just changed his whole, uh, you know, understanding about agriculture and what he wants to pursue. So this David Scott, and, uh, who's the first African-American chair of the uh, Ag Committee for Congress, uh, was a visionary thinker in establishing uh, this scholarship under the, the last uh, farm bill. And the goal is basically to increase the number of minorities studying in agriculture, animal science, food, and natural resources. And what's so important about this program is that when I was at USDA last week, we there are more people retiring in USDA than we are filling positions. So we need to develop a pipeline for these jobs and they are pretty good jobs. And so uh, we are just essentially doing what the whole nation needs to do. Uh, and, and, and this will impact us globally if we don't produce enough students to uh, fill those, uh, those positions. Um, also, uh, we were happy that we, we were number two on the list in awarding scholarship this past year. Uh, so I, I again applaud uh, uh, my team. Um, they, they've done an outstanding job. And one of the unique things that we did, and I shared with my uh, 1890 deans, 
across the system is that we partner uh, with, with, with uh, 13 uh, East Baton Rouge high schools where we are awarded two scholarships per high school, uh, bringing that to a total of 26. And that commitment will be ongoing and will be done annually. Of, of course, we will assess it and assess the progress. So, so, so I'm enjoying this program and I, I think you're going to see the impact in the College of Ag as it relates to this program. Next slide. Uh, medical marijuana. I uh, had dinner uh, two nights in a row uh, with uh, uh, the alumni uh, association from the uh, what I would call the, the DMV area, uh, DC, Maryland, and Virginia. And the first question was, how is medical marijuana? Uh, the, the program is, continues to make great strides. Uh, I know Dr. Snowden is on. Um, I want to uh, give kudos to her and, and Alara for, for what they've done. Uh, you, 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 when I came in, I, I was happy with where we were, but I was really more even optimistic of where we were going. Um, uh, I would just give you uh, one example of where we were. I remember when we first kicked off in 2020, we probably was doing a few hundred up to a thousand units per month. And in May, we did 12,000 units. So that's to show you how this uh, program is evolving. And then with the flower bill that just uh, passed and the governor just signed off on it, uh, we're going to do even greater things. So the program is coming along. And as the President Belton stated, you know, we are producing a quality medicine. And I know most people ask the other question, how are we doing um, in comparison to our, our counterparts? I, I would just uh, simply say we're holding our own uh, and we, we, we're, we're doing a pretty good job and, and our leadership is doing well. The other thing is we're working with hemp. Uh, as you know, the, the last 2018 Farm Bill also uh, 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 bought uh, some clearance and legalization of, of growing uh, hemp. And so one of the things we've done, we've, we've, we've assigned two MOUs uh, with two uh, one black farmer coalition and then another black farmer and we are working with growing hemp outdoors and indoors uh, we're including our faculty and students in this and and also it's an opportunity for it to touch on all three areas of research teaching and extension next slide uh, the you know one of the great things uh, that i was so proud of it especially when we were talking about our extension and our faculty um, and, and even our research, how we were able to pivot once this pandemic was upon us. And, and uh, uh, one of the things that we definitely uh, found is that people always ask the question, are 1890s relevant? And I would say we're even more relevant than we've ever been because of the simple fact that what I stated earlier is that the clients that we normally serve are the ones that were, were disproportionately impacted in, in, a, in a negative manner. And, and so as a result, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Deshaun York is providing leadership to extension and outreach to doing a phenomenal job. We made the commitment and we hired about 15 new positions, 12 to 15. And uh, a lot of these positions center around health and wellness and ag and natural resources. And because of the American Rescue uh, Plan Act, uh, it's put uh, Southern University Ag Center in a very unique position because, uh, you know, as a result, we, we already work with small and socially disadvantaged farmers. And now, because of the resources that have been, uh, you know, allocated uh, for the uh, minority and socially disadvantaged uh, farmers, uh, we're in a unique space in which we get a chance to elevate what we've been already doing. Uh, I just think we have adequate resources with as relates to the funds and the human capital. And so we're, we're looking forward to, to, to uh, uh, developing uh, some new programming. Uh, also, our Enhancing Capacity Certification Program. Uh, one of the things that I was most impressed with when I was at another 1890 uh, with our mobile education uh, techn technology unit, uh, we will be the, continuing to deliver our certification classes. But more importantly, it's a mechanism of taking our programs to the people. Uh, next slide. 
uh, on May uh, 24th of, of this year, we had a very unique opportunity. And I, 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 it was very historical uh, because we had the opportunity to roll out that American Rescue Plan as relates to the, 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 the uh, minority farmers. Um, it was outstanding. And, and uh, I was so happy uh, within 36 hours uh, of, of us dealing, I know Allison is on, of dealing with the White House and USDA, uh, Cedric Richmond, who's senior advisor to President uh, Biden, was, was, was able to come down and roll this thing out. And we got a lot of uh, national coverage um, you know, we, it, we were in uh, St. James and we, we just had a great time. We had farmers there. Uh, we interacted. And I, I just want to thank Cedric. I know he's busy right now. I know he's in the state, but I know he's busy. But to just thank him for not only um, coming down at such a short period of time, but he also followed up with me. Uh, and, and he wants to know how can he help Southern help the state of Louisiana? And he was very serious and he wants us to be intentional. And Dr. York already know uh, we've been talking and we're gonna make sure that he has an opportunity to help Southern and Louisiana. So uh, along with him, you know, uh, uh, Congressman Troy Carter, we had individuals from the legislature. We had uh, a senior advisor to uh, Secretary uh, Bill Sack. You see Daniel uh, Whitley right there uh, in the white shirt. And of course, Allison, who's liaison and also in another capacity with OPPE and, and uh, uh, Tariq, uh, who, who's an alum. Uh, it's probably about uh, half of those people in there are alums, by the way, of the Ag to, of the College of Ag. So we, we had a really good time. And so there will be other opportunities for us to get together and meet with our farmers. Next slide. And this is just a summary of what I, I've talked about. Um, um, our a and &R team is doing a phenomenal job, Ag and Natural Resources. Uh, as I stated, uh, we have historically worked with the group that we've been charged to work with as relates to the American Rescue Plan. So we're, we're just trying to broaden our scope uh, um, uh, under the leadership of, 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 of our vice chancellor. Uh, we, we are going to develop a small farm institute uh, and, and it will be, uh, regarding emerging trends and science-based practices. Again, taking knowledge to the people. And, and what I'm, I'm excited about Small Farm Academy, uh, uh, where you have those who dream of owning their, their own farm and on a, a whole farm planning scale. So we're looking forward to that as well. Next slide. So, you know, one of the unique things that I found out immediately upon arriving here was the uniqueness of our our uh, youth livestock uh, show. Uh, we're the only 1890, in fact, the only HBCU uh, uh, to, to have such a livestock uh, uh, activity. And so uh, in 2022, we'll be celebrating 79 years. Uh, and I'm excited to, to start the planning for our, our 80th anniversary. And so we're excited about that. Uh, next slide. Uh, this is this is something that uh, I, I am extremely excited about. Um, we have nearly about $20 million that are going into uh, renovation projects uh, under the auspices of the, the Ag Center and the College of Agriculture, Family and Consumer Sciences. Uh, uh, we're renovating the, the, of course, the A.O. Williams uh, building, uh, the, the, the Edmund Livestock Arena, and Fisher Hall, and I, and I want to thank uh, uh, President Belton and our external relations team for working with myself, uh, uh, as, as well as Dr. Walker, to help uh, these funds come about uh, and and to basically give us a, a facelift uh, that that is uh, needed. And also, uh, and I know Dr. Rogers will be happy with us to, to get us updated as it relates to current technology. Next slide. Um, one of the things that I have been intentional about, uh, very intentional endeavor, is to increase our giving, increase our, our fundraising. Uh, I, I, I call it diversifying our funding portfolio. Uh, some of you all, many of you guys have met uh, Mr. Robert Easley. He has hit the ground running. He's working with, with, with Mr. Al Harrell over in 
in the foundation and they, he's doing a great job as you as you can see the difference between 2020 and 2021 uh, the number of donors are up and the number of gifts are up, of course, then the amount of money is up. And we have officially established the moral society uh, uh, and, and of giving. And uh, you see the nice logo there. Uh, we, If you have not seen this or have not heard from us, you will be hearing from us. You will receive something in the mail. You will receive something via email. But we will be asking. So we, as, as it states at the bottom, give today. Next slide. And you may or may not be able to see this. I can see it clearly. But but the Moral Society, which I I, I, I love, um, you know, the founding members, uh, you have the Prestige Circle, Eminent Circle, Noble Circle, Young Alumni Circle. Uh, basically, we, we accept all, all types of giving. Um, I, I'm happy to 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 say that it was imperative that uh, I've become you know a member of the lifetime or the founding member society. So I, I am not asking anybody to do anything that I wouldn't do. So I have already given to that and became a founding member along with another of our colleagues on this call. Uh, so I, I think we're moving in the right direction. The other thing I was happy about is I met with at least about 15 Ag alumni. And we are looking to establish this, the SU Ag Alumni Association. And, and it's not taken away from anything that individuals are given, but they want to be intentional in their support of the College of Ag, as well as the Ag Center. So I, I uh, encourage you to give. Next slide. So what, one of the things that came out of my trip last week to, to uh, DC is that one of the alums who's a professor at Howard University, uh, Professor Bailey, uh, uh, introduced me to individuals uh, at the uh, South African embassy and they wanted to discuss a, a relationship uh, uh, between uh, SU Ag Center and Umpumpulanga uh, uh, University in South Africa. Um, I had a chance to uh, have a call, Dr. Walker and I, uh, with the uh, uh, vice chancellor of, of the university, and uh, it was really it was really exciting. It's the newest university in South Africa, uh, um, uh, established in 2013. They started with about 160 students. They're up to about 5,800, and by 2025, they will be at 25,000 students. And so we're right now are, are getting ready to develop a look at developing a MOU. And so areas of interest, joint research, collaboration, student opportunities, uh, extension outreach. They're very interested in learning about extension uh, from the standpoint of US extension program. And also we were talking about some joint proposals that we, we will probably be writing, but we're, we're, we're very excited about our, our potential partnership with MPA. Next slide. Uh, so on June 16th, I had an excellent opportunity to be one of uh, five panelists to testify before uh, the House Ag Committee uh, uh, and, 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 and Congress. And uh, it was around uh, resiliency, equity, and global impact of 1890 institutions. Uh, I was joined by presidents of Delaware State, Fort Valley State, uh, University of Maryland, Tashore, and Virginia State. Uh, and it was a great, great dialogue. Uh, we had a chance to really just state the fact that we are in need of resources, whether that be from the support of our students and faculty or our, our, our infrastructure, especially addressing our deferred maintenance issue. Uh, it was an outstanding uh, uh, event. And from that event, I have received numerous calls and, and even, um, the individuals in the White House was very interested in some of the things that we wanted to do at Southern and want us to uh, provide them with information uh, as it relates to the infrastructural needs of the 1890s. Uh, next slide. And, and from that meeting, I was introduced by Congresswoman Letlow. And from that meeting, uh, we got an invite to come to her office while I was in DC last week. And uh, she, is on the committee, the Ag Committee, 
and wanted to know what the Southern need. And it's really nice when you hear that three or four times in the last week. And so we discussed the, the 2023 Farm Bill, which is coming up, and we're starting to write on that bill. So I am soliciting information from my vice chancellors who will be then solicited from those individuals who are in their respective areas as to what are our priorities for, for the college and for the Ag Center. And so she has uh, subsequently followed up with me and uh, we will be meeting and she wants to actually come down and uh, visit one of our uh, schedule extension programs. So we will coordinate that uh, with, with Dr. York's uh, uh, team. Uh, next slide. And, you know, uh, being an alum of Alabama A&M, you always are braggadocious and talking about what, the, what your alums are doing. And uh, I, I, just in a week, uh, I've talked to or communicated with all these people and they have one thing in common, uh, well, a couple of things in common, but one that they are all alums of, of the College of Ag. The second thing is many of them are they're the first to ever do what they're doing as far as African-American. Daniel Whitley is, is, the, is the first uh, FAS uh, administrator. That means that he's in charge of the, all the international agricultural endeavors. And Randy Moore uh, was just named by Secretary Vilsack as the first U.S. Forest Service chief. Let me say that again. The first U.S. Forest Service chief. That just, that's, I'm still getting chills about that. Uh, that is amazing. Uh, and Beatra, uh, especially you know, those of you in urban forestry know her contribution. First in her capacity, Arthur Neal, you heard about him. Tariq just landed the um, farm loan chief for the state of Louisiana. And I, I, I said, we are well positioned for success because we have those type, those individuals who love Southern University uh, uh, first and foremost, and they want to give back and they want to make us better. Uh, next slide. And, and of course, I talked to you about uh, Cedric Richmond. Uh, I still call him Congressman Richmond. Uh, uh, he is definitely uh, going to be a supporter of us. And Kerry Castile uh, used to work at uh, LSU as well as work for Commissioner Strain. She is now the director of the National Institute of Food and Agriculture, which is where 75% uh, of our money comes from. I'm not just talking about where, you know, uh, uh, 1890s or just Southern. I'm talking about many of the land grant institutions. So all of the land grant institutions receive money from under her purview. She and I will be meeting next week. And again, she wants to know how can we support uh, Southern and, and subsequently in supporting Southern, you're supporting uh, the state of Louisiana. So I'm looking forward to these individuals uh, 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 working with them and working with, with my team and working with President Belton uh, to make sure that we, we secure that support uh, for Louisianans. Next slide. As, as uh, President Belton alluded to, we had uh, on record the best year as it relates to legislature and, and, and the resources. Uh, we, we, we received our full match and, and a little bit more. Uh, we also received an additional $5 million in supplemental funding that will go to uh, support uh, some things at our research station and update some facilities. Uh, one of the things that uh, we, we are hopeful is that we will want to try to introduce a land grant bill that will encompass all three mission areas. Instead of starting from zero or scratch every year, we'll go to the legislature to have a bill with a base in which we can add to. And so we're looking forward to that. And, and of course, again, thank you to Dr. Walker, uh, our team. Thank you to President Belton, uh, Dr. Merrick, and, 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 and our, our advocacy group on the, you know, on, at the Capitol. Uh, we, it allowed for us to receive enough resources, uh, of course, for raises. And so I am, again, thankful also to the board for approving uh, said raises. Next slide. And one of the things that uh, we will continue to do, and, and I, I know Dr. Rogers and Lakeisha know I'm kicking and screaming about this sometime, but we have to get out there on social media and 
we have to go in front of the cameras and we have to tell all the great things that we're doing because if we don't tell our story, somebody else will. And we may not like the spin that they put on the story. So uh, uh, we will continue to, to hold those podcasts and, and uh, keep information out there on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. And I encourage uh, you to do so too, as, as we uh, see those positive things about our, our wonderful College of Agriculture, as well as our, our Ag Center. Uh, next slide. And I will uh, uh, pause at, at, at this time and uh, Ask is, is there any, or were there any questions or anything in the chat? I think I just uh, I think I just saw uh, um, saw uh, uh, Robert put some information in there about the uh, about the the moral society. Yes, sir. There was just a question about the um, if employees can contribute to the moral society through payroll deduction. Oh, okay, and and oh, okay, I think uh, Robert already uh, answered that. I think. And yes, uh, yes, you can. Uh, so as I, uh, uh, Lisa, is it is it? He said yes, you can. <laughs> so Lisa, it, do I move to the conclusion, or do we have, or or, or who's next in this? I don't have my uh, role. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead and move to your conclusion, please. Okay. So, in conclusion, I, I, I as you can see, we have, uh, uh, we're ready with the next 20 years to uh, start this big to-do list. I mean, it's a huge to-do list, and I overwhelm my vice chancellors at times, but and my executive team uh, uh, because I, I, we have lofty expectations uh, because we are ready for the next. Uh, the next 20 years, it's going to be even greater. So we are excited. Uh, we will be, you know, uh, increasing the number of partnerships, uh, new programming, expanding on existing. Uh, of course, uh, I want to build our research capacity. I think the, the sky is the limit as it relates to, to that. Uh, also continue to diverse, diversify our, our, our funding portfolio. Uh, and I believe that uh, also expand our footprint as it relates to our extension program. And so uh, I think there's definitely room to grow. Uh, and as I close, I would like to thank each of you for your attendance in today's uh, uh, convocation and your support of the Ag Center. And I really truly mean that I don't get a chance to talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, but I know the great work that you do. And I just wanna thank our great leader, uh, Dr. Belton, for his words and all the support he provides me as Chancellor Dean uh, and uh, and also the Ag Center and the college. He really, I'm not just saying that as recent as last night, uh, I was talking to him and he's always supportive of the Ag Center and the college and it is greatly appreciated. And to my, my buddy, uh, uh, Mike Strain, uh, thank you, my friend. And I'm looking forward to, to working with you uh, you, you, you're a great commissioner, and we just appreciate what you do for Louisiana, especially during the pandemic. And a, and a special thanks to all of the speakers uh, who presented and all of our student ambassadors uh, the, of the 20 and the 20th anniversary committee team members, and of course, uh, the IT and communications team. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mimis, for your amazing informational presentation. It was great to hear about the SU Ag Center's accomplishments. Thank you. Just a um, quick note, plans are in preparation for an in-person event on September 24th at the Multipurpose Center. Detail will be announced soon. Thank you for your time and attention. Enjoy the rest of your day. We are adjourned. <laughs>